So, uh, so let me do this uh, question again, again, um, since last time, um, I feel like a uh, perplex that actually would have gotten under the percent with a minor correction that I did make to one of the answers. But, um, but I think that minor correction had to do with a question that I had to fix. So, um, so let's just do a do-over, uh, uh, take a mulligan and see if uh, perplexed will do better. So let me first get the screen ready. And then, and, and I, it, since I was uh, running out of time last time, I'll just uh, be mindful about how slowly I go. Uh, I'll just uh, make sure to uh, really uh, mind my time and <laughs> try not to run out of time. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to have to type in a few things. Also, I have the same as M. Okay. Oh, this was a difficult question, I think. Uh, I, I remember getting confused myself about this a couple times. I'm pretty sure question version is correct, because I've corrected it. But um, it was a difficult question. I'll just leave that there. Um, I think for me to get it right, uh, okay, it's going to answer all the parts <laughs> before it'll give me an answer I can plug in. Uh, okay, yeah. uh, and I will say I'm confused enough about the question that I can't tell you for sure if that is correct or not. I have to compare with the, the, uh, the table from the textbook um, to have a good sense of if that's correct or not. Because uh, for some reason, my intuition about that, what should have the greatest uh, rotation inertia, it, it's that sense, that little bit of intuition has never given me the correct answer. So I have to kind of be quality, quantitative about it. Okay. Oof, big figure. Probably should have... Um, I want to go back and edit that question to make the figure a little smaller. <laughs> oh, anyways, I think in terms of copying, it's fine. Uh, a, B, C, and D. All right, let's see how it answered the other question. Is it still answering? Um, oh, wait, it's already answered. I don't know. Oh, I see. I, Confused myself um, because it started with what the correct answer was. I copied that first. Uh, skip. Um, but I, I gotta go more quickly because I think I'm already three minutes in and I'm on pace to uh, run out of time. That's gonna take some work to copy. So for up at about 10 to the 11 meters from the sun, uh, five times 10 to the four meter per second. Napoleon comet is five times 10 to the 12 uh, meters from the sun. Okay, and oops, um, this is actually the here and moves at about moves at uh, 10 to the 3 meters per second. Okay, I think that's all copied correctly. Um, a, B, C, D, and e. Is it still answering? Let me see. Oh wow, it's still answering. Um, I don't know what it's gonna do. Let me just open a new window um, and just, because it might be just stuck on something, I don't know. Um, and since I'm not really keeping um, persistence of the um, session, I'll just do a new session. Correct answer is A. Yeah. Still running low on time. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, looks good. Done answering now. Next question. Correct statement is that. All right. Oh, I gotta expand that. When there's an image description button, that means um, the alt text for image doesn't have a lot of description. So um, for the info, um, you have to actually. Okay. Uh, illustration and okay. e, e. right. no, it might be going to a long explanation. Um, at least I think this will copy relatively quickly. I got four and a half minutes. Yeah, I'm still cutting really close to the time. Because this, uh, and including this, I still have four more questions to uh, go through. Um, you can just use uh, conservation of angular momenta. You don't have to use conservation of energy. Um, although I guess it is using conservation of angular momentum. So, um, oh. what it doesn't uh, two point nine seven. Hmm. Um, okay, we'll leave it blank or choose the closest to it. Um, or let me do it this way. I'm gonna uh, message instructor and say, oh, uh, there, I think there's something wrong with the question. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure ChatGPT made a mistake, but let me, um, you know, do the thing that, that I think a cheating student might do. <laughs> In the meantime. I think this question we did answer last time. Uh, we will, uh, and actually, ChatGPT got it right. I think a lot. It got it correctly last time. I think, if I remember right. Uh, correct answer is C. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll have mass n, mass radius r, force f. Step as high as h, where h is less than r. What is the minimum for self needed? Okay, we gotta type everything. f is mg times square root of h to r minus h divided by r minus h. d is f is equal to mgr. f is equal to mg times square root of h to r minus h. Close the square root, divide by r minus h. E is f is equal to mgh. E is f is equal to mg times r divided by h. All right. Um, which time? Oh, so this question now, you should be able to get it correctly. Because, uh, sorry, my time. Uh, Let me just start copying this now. This, um, there's a bunch of stuff. So it doesn't actually need a constant, so I'll um, skip that. Approximately 80 times 10 to the 3 kilometer. Approximately 40 times 10 to the 3 kilometer. Approximately 600 times 10 to the 3 kilometer. E approximately six times ten to the three kilometer. E okay. Uh, what did it answer? What? Uh, wow, it's really uh, missing it. Um, I'll do the same thing here. That because he said there's no specific formula. Or, yeah. Uh, 
It was able to get it before. Um, or am I misremembering? Let me make sure I have enough time. 36 seconds. Not enough time. Answer is B. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, it actually doesn't need this, but let me just do it. Uh, so in future, I might just have to forego typing in ABC, D thing. Uh, let me just put in something so that um, it's not entirely wrong. Um, see, okay. See. Did I? Okay. Oh, wow. It's done a lot worse. Um, yeah, let's take a look. Because um, I'm pretty sure I did type in everything it gave me. Uh, let's see. Wait, this is the scored attempt. Let me look at attempt number two. Um, yeah, I did put in everything it gave me. 30 percent, it's a lot worse. Uh, so let's see um, <coughs> which ones it got right. Because apparently it missed them more than it got right. Um, I am surprised they did it so poorly. So, which of the objects have the largest rotation inertia? Um, uh, each object is rotated about an axis going through their center of mass. Okay. Oh, so the largest, that's actually easy. Because um, it should be the thin circular loop of radius r. Because that puts everything at the largest distance. So, um, what did it do wrong? So, that's... Yeah, it calculates actually B correctly, MR squared. That is larger. So um, it, you know, it did, a, or it looked at the correct formula and then it proceeded to <laughs> answer it wrong. Um, so B is correct. And if it's looking at its own result, it would have known that it's correct. But, you know, it's a large language model. It doesn't actually, it's not capable of thinking. So um, solid disk and ring. Uh, Slipping down, which are the most to correctly describe the outcome. Okay, um, so let the disk reach the bottom first and rolling fast. Yeah, that is correct. So that must be one that it got correct. Um, and the rest, I think, is yeah, yeah, the, the rest are just wrong. So, okay, that's one that it got correct. Let's look at the second one. Um, oh, oh, and before I keep going too far, let's just uh. Uh, is the question correct? Uh, there is no correct uh, answer. That's what I imagine someone who's che cheating with a check GPT might write. <laughs> send that um, and send that. Um, and then I actually want to, uh, is, so I think, a me oh, okay, message instructor about it. Uh, this is just a reminder for me. Uh, the figure is too big. Could you make it a little smaller? So, all right. Um, let's look at this question. So, ChatGPT got one right so far. Let's look at this one, force of gravity, which is statement, okay. Uh, because zero force, so zero torque acts on the rod. Uh, it's a matter of, a, a, let me start with the, the, so this is a matter of stable versus unstable equilibrium. Let me look at the question that, uh, the choice that GPT, because the ball uh, falls to flow more quickly than the rod, the speed of the stable larger than the, so here's a um, surprising thing. The end point of the rod, it's moving pretty fast. Um, so I wouldn't say this is necessarily correct until I check the other two choices. This could be correct, it could be wrong. The phrasing of it makes me think it's probably wrong. So if the steel ball and the rod has the same mass, the ball's translation of kinetic energy is larger than the total kinetic energy of the rod moment before it hits the ground. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it should be right actually. Because the rod, um, the uh, total gravitational potential energy, it's based on this center of mass. 
So uh, it actually starts with less energy, and even though, and pivot force does not work. Okay, that's fine, but its total uh, kinetic energy will be based on that potential energy rather than double the potential energy that the ball has. So I think a two is actually a correct one. Um, and it's for the only trans uh, which is incorrect. Uh, so yeah, here the correct choice would have been this. And if you go through the detailed calculation, then you can show that this is wrong. But um, given that you only have one minute per question, really, the thing that I was relying on people to figure out is that the difference in the gravitational potential energy of these two. And from that figure out, this statement is correct. Um, yeah. So, okay, so GPT got that wrong. So far, it got only one right. Uh, elliptical path, and its answer was Comet spends more time near point A. That, yeah, that's just totally wrong. How did it uh, say that's correct? Um, oh, wait, it didn't finish answering that. Um, comet. Um, yeah, it's less time. Um, I mean, Kepler's second law is the right law to cite, but uh, farther move slower at aphelion, yeah. Yeah, yeah, near point B than near point A. So, um, so if this were swapped, it would be correct, but... Um, it, so, okay, so let me find the correct choice first and see how GPT reasoned that throw wrong. <laughs> radius of curvature at point A. So this is actually correct. The radius of curvature here and here is the same. And uh, you, the reasoning through that is instructive. I recommend that you try it. Uh, it's based on, you know, circular motion, uh, V squared over R. So the R is different, but V squared is also different. And you can prove with, uh, I think, conservation of energy and or angular momentum um, that, yeah, the curvature here is the same as curvature here, even though the acceleration is different. So, um, curvature of elliptical, yeah, so here it misunderstood, you know, A and B, uh, those, comparing those two points, their curvatures are the same. At other points, sure, yeah, curvature is changing, so, uh, okay, got that wrong, it should have been B, not A. Um, Five. Let's see if we got it right. Uh, if the bicycle is heavier, it'll process. Oh wow! It got it wrong. Um, so this is the kind of common trick question because uh, people uh, want to kind of default into thinking larger angular momentum, faster movement, and it's actually the other way around. <laughs> Let's see how GPT argued that uh, is then uh, is. It's given by, so if we know the equation that it knows if we, I is greater, then although if mass is, oh, it processes at the same speed, I think. I think mass cancels out from the torque due to gravity numerator and the mass in the rotation inertia. So they can, mass cancels out and it processes at the same speed. Um, yeah, it, it didn't realize that increasing M will increase I. Um, so let me first find the correct choice and then see why it got it wrong, all things being equal. And set up on the southern hemisphere. Yeah, it has nothing to do with this. <laughs> it's what I call joke choice. Um, if the bicycle wheel is made to spin at a slower angular speed, then it'll process. Yeah, that is correct. Because smaller angular momentum means it'll, um, it'll take not as much Grav torque due to gravity to make it precess. So C, spin at slow angular speed, it'll not precess faster. If angular frequency omega decreases, no. Um, so like looking at the formula, if you look at this formula, if omega decreases, the you know the rotational angular velocity decreases, then the the rotational frequency of Angular frequency of precession will increase. You can kind of see it from there. Because, you know, it's language model, not human being. It can't reason through that. So anyways, a C is correct. That's incorrect. So far, GPT got only one right. <laughs> we'll keep going. And yeah, this one, I know it missed. So um, in case this one doesn't come up again in the second attempt, let me just calculate this one out. 
So the way you would do it is, and I think I can just do it with a regular calculator using conservation of angular momentum. So from conservation of angular momentum, what it ends up being is the product. This times the perpendicular velocity, they are constant. So I can say um, the RP times the VP is equal to RA times the VA. And we are given its apogee speed. Um, okay, we need a perigee speed. So um, <laughs> I gotta write this up. I can try to do it in my head, but there's a chance I'll miss it and it'll be embarrassing if I miss it. So, so, um, so RP VP is equal to RA VA. So perigee speed is this. And there's a slight correction you need to make uh, because you are given the, the altitudes not the uh, altitudes, not the actual distance from the center of the Earth. So wherever you see RA, you have to do um, the Earth radius, 6370, plus the apogee height, uh, 3000. And for perigee, same thing, 6370, plus the perigee height. So I think ChatGPT might have mixed up apogee and perigee. Maybe that's why it got a smaller number for perigee speed. So um, let me do this. Uh, 6370 plus 3000 divided by 6370 plus 400 times the apogee speed gives me 8.26. So it would be D, that's correct. And the chat GPT, it must have gotten it wrong. Um, it is correct. Wait, it has correct the formula, but it subtracted the height instead of <laughs> adding. And um, it, here it added it. Okay, okay. It didn't mix up apogee and perigee. It made a math error here for some weird reason. Um, <laughs> I don't know why a computer would have made comment error like that. But anyways, um, yeah, so so far got only one right. Let's see if uh, we can find the other two in the remaining four questions. Uh, consider a tall box with a increasing incline angle, additional forces provide... No, there are no additional forces, so that's wrong. Um, with the increasing incline angle... Um, so clockwise torque due to gravity. Yeah, that is correct. So gravity um, that has lever arm, it's providing clockwise torque. As you increase the angle, that, that uh, lever arm is decreasing. So gravity is pro at some point providing zero clockwise torque. And then it's providing negative clockwise torque or counterclockwise torque. So it should have been A. Um, yeah. Yeah, B is not it, C or D is not it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why it didn't get A right. Uh, I guess it didn't give a reasoning for why A is a, yeah, must have been guessing. Um, so this question, I think uh, we've done it before. Um, and the explanation I gave for choosing a C was based on dimensional analysis. That um, so you can actually using dimensional analysis you can uh, rule out you know without doing any explicit calculation you should be able to rule out all but two choices. Let me uh, double check. So I'm just working at the unit on the right hand side. Mg will give me newton, and this here I get uh, you know one unit of meters cancel out, so I get square root of meter. Here I get newton times meter. Here I get just a newton. And here the units cancel out because the meter squared, the square root is divided by meter. And then here again, Newton times meter. Uh, and here I again have Newton, meter over meter cancels out. So you are down to choosing between these two expressions. And um, once you get this far, then one kind of, um, another technique other than checking units that can help you is checking um, kind of the limits. 
So in the limit, h is either very small or h is very large. How does this expression behave? And uh, let me just think through h is very small first. If h is very small, then I want this force to go to zero based on my intuitive feeling. And um, here, I don't get that. It, as h goes to zero, um, the required force will go to infinity. So that cannot possibly be right. So I would... Uh, go to C based on process of elimination. And here I think if you think through H going to zero, that will actually, so you know, denominator goes to some constant value, numerator goes to zero, so require the first will go to zero. So that's the way I intended for people to be able to answer a question like this within one minute. Because if you're drawing free body diagram and actually working it out in detail, then yeah, you're gonna run out of time, um, so C. Okay, so GPT must have gotten the next two questions right. That's the only way it could have gotten 30% right. Um, yeah, so it got this one right. Question is fixed. <laughs> if you just simply look up geosynchronous orbit, 40,000 kilometers is what you would get. And, um, and you know, that's the correct answer. 40,000 kilometers approximately, yeah. It knows how to round <laughs> once the question is correct. Uh, let me look at question 10. Um, Gravitational force between Earth and Apple, incorrect statement. Gravitational, yeah, acceleration is not the same. Their forces are the same, Newton's third law, and because of Newton's second law, the acceleration uh, of the Apple is greater, smaller mass. Okay, so that's uh, chat GPT. Um, second time, a lot worse than first time. Um, <laughs> I don't know quite why, but that's a, um, that is a really striking difference. 